Hello, and welcome to OPA on AWS. My name is Zahi Ben Shabbat. I'm a prototype architect at AWS. Today we will talk about platform engineering and what is OPA on AWS. This is the first chapter, introduction. In a typical enterprise, there is a small number of DevOps engineers who is in charge to design and build the software operations of the company. This critical role makes them the bottleneck when it comes to scaling these skills and allowing other developers to build and design according to the standards and security guardrails of the organization. In addition, using the cloud requires knowledge and training that takes time. During this period of learning, it is a common practice that developers reach out to platform engineering team for assistance. The idea behind the platform engineering is to take this, a specialized group of engineers for building and maintaining the fundamental tools, services, and infrastructure that supports the development of software applications within an organization. Creating a solid and standardized foundation upon which other developer teams can build their application more efficiently and reliability is the key to scale the application developers. Since no organization is the same, there is a requirement to customize and design the software standards so that it meets the business requirements and compliance regulations. Once the customization is set, onboarding teams to the platforms allow faster adoption and better utilization of the work. When designing a developer platform, there are several key aspects to consider. Most enterprises use tooling and automation to ensure the efficiency, security, and stability of their applications. But there are more things to consider, such as infrastructure, abstraction of automation, standardization, security and compliance, monitoring and observability, scalability and resilience, developer experience, cost optimization, and finally team collaboration. OPA on AWS is an open source solution to help customer build their internal developer platform and integrate with AWS. This solution was built and designed for enterprise and intend to be customized so it can meet the tooling and standard in a particular company. The solution provides the complete source code, templates, examples, and plugins required to integrate with AWS. It also adheres to the security best practices and segregation of access control. From a high level, we started the platform. The platform is based on the open source project Backstage.io and the open community edition of GitLab. Once the platform is set, teams can start to provision different environments on AWS using different accounts and region, and consequently applications and resources. If we zoom in over one of the environments we saw before, we can see each one of them comes with a foundation VPC network layer, a runtime environment, operation and provisioning roles, and an audit table, and all the future resources the application may be required. The simple design is created to accommodate applications and that share the same business unit or organization segment. Since it is always exist in the context of an account and region, we can easily separate development environments from production by using different accounts and therefore enjoy the automated access restriction between those accounts. Some of the out-of-the-box features the solution provides are multi-account region automatic environment creation, different runtimes such as Amazon ECS, Amazon EKS, and serverless, 
automatic deployment to other environments with the click of a button, shared resource provisioning and resource binding, centralized and abstracted pipelines for better control at scale, using infrastructure as code as a principle, including CDK and Terraform, enforcing security guardrails on different levels and scope, including backstage RBAC and AWS specific policy statements. In the main screen of the platform, what you immediately notice is that we have a tab for AWS. It takes us into the AWS catalog. And the first thing you may see is the environments, provider apps and resources. We will go in further depth in each one of them in the next episodes. For the time being, if we quickly browse environments, we can see the available environments um, in our organization. If we look at the providers, we can see the different accounts and region they are deployed. And if we go to apps, we'll see the applications that we're currently running. And in resource, uh, the AWS cloud resource we have provisioned. Jumping into an application, we can see the overview of an app. What relationship does it have? In this case, you can see it's deployed to a dev and a test, and we can navigate through them through this drop down menu. We can also see the rest of the cards that operates the application. We will discuss them in further chapters. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next episodes.